is sponsored by Reebok. And Amstel, UEFA Champions League sponsors. Ibrook Stadium, where tonight Rangers will try to resurrect their Champions League dream against Italian champion Juventus after that 4-1 mauling in Turin a fortnight ago. Good evening and welcome to match day four in the UEFA Champions League. Rangers versus Juve live from Ibrox in Glasgow. The whole match coming your way in a few moments. With me tonight are Rangers English internationalist Trevor Stephen and Motherwell manager Alex McLeish. Alex, it was a mauling. That's not an understatement a fortnight ago. What can Rangers do tonight? Well, they only have to go back three years and look at the, the form in the Champions League then when I think probably the turning point for them was when they went 2-0 down against Marseille and come back with a really strong, positive performance. And it was probably a performance in the true Scottish tradition. Mm. And maybe they're needing a wee touch of that tonight. I don't know if a short passing game or a slow passing game would suit them. It would probably suit Juventus more. Yeah. So I would say... Up and at them, really, and have a right crack at them. From, from the word go. Trevor, yeah. what have the, the Rangers players been saying in, in, the, in the last fortnight, especially about this man, Del Piero, as well? Well, there's a lot to, to talk about from that game, wasn't there? And uh, that was only one of the instances. But, mm. uh, you know, it was, it was a hard night for us uh, to take, and really we came back shell shot. Um, but I think tonight is going to be uh, an even more determined attitude. Uh, mm. I wouldn't say a completely confident attitude, but certainly an attitude where we're going to mm. try and take the game by the scuff of the neck. And of course, we saw Ravinelli there. Now, he's on the bench tonight. We mm. thought he wouldn't feature at all, but he's on the bench. So that's a boost in some way. It is. I, I would have been a bit frightened to see um, Viali and uh, Ravinelli on, on the field at the same time. But mm. possibly we'll see that sometime tonight. I think it's a wee reminder, Jim. You know, from the manager, Lippe, telling his players that bad performances puts them out of the team. And mm. They couldn't have been too happy with Saturday's perform uh, Sunday's performance sorry, yes, in the Italian League and yes. against Lazio where they, they were hammered. All right. Well, we will take a short break now, but join me in a couple of minutes for Rangers versus Juventus in the Champions League live from Ibrox. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's go over straight away now live to Rangers against Juventus. Match commentator Jerry McNee. Welcome to Ibrook Stadium on as big a night as Rangers have faced in 35 seasons of European competition, such as the glamour and splendour of the UEFA Champions League. Like just about everything else pales in comparison. Rangers certainly need to take something from Juventus and hope the other game in Group C ends in a drop. Now well, there's the Rangers line up and uh, Gary Bowen coming in for his first taste of the big time uh, Rangers are without Robertson Moore, Jury, McCoyst and Cleland from the starting lineup of two weeks ago and as the Juventus side they show four changes from that last game against Rangers in Turin in come Pesotto Carrera, Takanade and Viale and alongside me once again is Joe Jordan Good evening, Jerry. Good evening, everyone. Well, first time I've got to say, Jerry, is that uh, Rangers and Rangers, the Rangers players, have had two weeks to think about that night in Turin. And uh, what we have this evening is a very important game, not only for, for Rangers, a team who are desperate looking for three points, but British football in general, you know, the results from two weeks, not only the result in Turin, but if we go even to last night, where the results have been very disappointed. And I think Rangers Football Club here have a, an opportunity, not only for themselves, but for, for British football to try and, and correct the record a little bit. In many respects, it's an important game. And uh, no more so from the point of view of pride. I think on that evening in Turin and, and, and many other places where British football are involved, I think uh, we were showing that we maybe lacked a little bit. 
But today what we have is, is a full, a nearly packed stadium here. An opportunity for Glasgow Rangers to actually show what British pride is like. And I think it's, uh, I think it's going to be a different game tonight. I think uh, we'll see a different Glasgow Rangers. The kind of game that uh, you liked to be involved in in your playing days. I think so, Jerry. I think we'll, we'll have a real typical Scottish atmosphere tonight. Uh, it's intimidating. Uh, it's uh, hopefully give us a start, which we want, which is, I think, the Rangers players has got to really get in about the event, is close them down, make them make mistakes, and play the game at the play at the pace that Glasgow Rangers want to play. So this match tonight, going to 190 countries. There's 160 media people here, 16 television stations, so a tremendous atmosphere as the game gets underway. And Rangers with a lot to prove here this evening. That has been the story of this championship for them so far. And they certainly rose to the occasion against Borussia Dortmund. But uh, after what happened a couple of weeks ago, They'll want to get in about this Juventus side as much as possible. We've seen in at least uh, recent weeks how uh, Lazio, Preston and also Milan. And of course, uh, they have some incredibly good players. Rangers too have a few sterling performers out there and they'll battle hard. It'll be interesting to see how the referee reacts to this tonight. And it's Shaka from Turkey. John Brown intercepts, now it's Gascoigne, this is Goff, Petrich, Petrich runs on for the return from Stephen Wright, this is Ferguson, of course any suggestions that uh, Juventus will take uh, the foot off the pedal can be uh, dismissed because there's a lot of money at stake, £250,000 a point, well, there's a Rangers player on the ground and uh, still play rages on. Stephen Wright gets back to his feet. So in excess of uh, 40,000 people here tonight. So Ian Ferguson will of course come on and scored in that uh, superb second half performance against Dortmund a few weeks ago. Now Rangers defenders looking for offside, but it's Viale providing the cross, and it's easily handled by Andy Gorham. You mentioned there, Jerry, about the Borussia Dortmund game. I think in the second half, with the introduction of Ian Ferguson and, and, and the attitude and the commitment that he showed, and he was a leader that night. And, and really, that's what we've got to get from a lot of the Rangers players tonight to show that uh, that desire and commitment, closing down, working making things happen for them uh, and if they can do it against Borussia Dortmund they have the opportunity if they go about it in the same way of, of doing it against Juventus tonight and here come Juventus again and that's uh, Takanabe who was in the end of that Stephen Wright making the challenge so the free kick to the Italian champions it's laid off by Viali this is Takanabe we have by Petrich. This is Torricelli. The Rangers have got to push and press as much as possible without leaving themselves enough cover at the back. The Juventus player on the deck over on the far side. And the referee has halted the play. Physios and the stretch has been called for. It looks like Conte. One man we can't forget tonight, Jerry, is the referee. Uh, this chap's from Turkey, and uh, it's really how his interpretation of the game goes. You know, we're really looking for a game to be played in a British manner. Scot the way the Scottish game is, people closing down, working, getting ta tackles, and purely in, in a physical sense, winning the ball cleanly but fairly, but but hard and hopefully the referee sees it in that frame of mind because it, it, if he goes in a, in a lenient fashion in the other way then we, we have a problem if there's too many interruptions to the game and the pace is, is broken by this 
then I think it's uh, that would be played in such a manner that would be favourable to Juventus. So Antonio Conte is being helped off after that uh, challenge by Petric. That's Marcello Lippi, the Juventus coach, looking on anxiously. So the uh, player is receiving some treatment way over on the far side of the field. As he scored in the first game between the sides, Conte. So we'll look to get him back on. Meanwhile, that's laid off by Gascoigne. This is Richard Goff, a long one looking for Salenko. Salenko is pulled down by Torricelli. And the referee is uh, reaching for the yellow card. So Torricelli picks up his second yellow card of the tournament. And that uh, puts him out of the match against uh, Borussia Dortmund. So five minutes played, still no scoring. But Salenko taken right out of the play by Moreno Torricelli. And the referee wants the defenders to retreat a bit. Richard Goff has moved up there, so too has Petric. There's plenty of height. And the goalkeeper, Peruzzi, just gets it away. In comes Stephen Wright, though. Good play by him. Goff still well forward. The offside flag has gone up meanwhile. And the referee halts the play. So, Torricelli misses the next match. There's the confirmation. Well, I don't think we're going to get a nice replay of that ball that uh, Paul Gascoigne put in there, but I thought it was a quality ball. Obviously, uh, on reflection, it, two weeks ago, he was a player like Lloyd, Lloyd Drop that Glasgow Rangers missed. And uh, he's going to be a very special and important guy tonight, uh, not only from, from set pieces, but his general play. He's a player that, uh, that, that Rangers have been looking to, to, to get on the ball and to create and to try and play his open this defence. It's very important that uh, Paul Gascoigne doesn't get himself booked tonight. He already has one yellow card. And uh, another one would drill him out of the home game here against uh, Bucharest. In a few weeks' time, and that could be some night for Rangers if they take something from this game tonight. Outside Olivia's head up, and uh, the alley was in an offside position. Running back on side but uh, the flag went up and the referee responded so it's Gordon Petric bring it to Gascoigne just about everything in these early stages going through Gascoigne but he's caught in possession there it was Conte initially this is Delivio now it's Viali Gary Bowen comes into challenge So what a big night uh, for the former Dundee United player who arrived here with Alec Cleland. In a joint deal, and he's uh, thrown right in at the deep end. That's Gascoigne. It's a nice little turn there by Takanadi. Uh, the free kick is given against Charlie Miller. Takanadi is uh, a player who can operate just about anywhere. Uh, he won his first cap. Earlier this year, he played as sweeper for the Italian national side. But a man who can play in defence on midfield. And well, then uh, it's Conte who's recovered from his injury. Having a pot at goal. She knocks down there in the technical area. And on the phone to Walter Smith, who's just up behind us in the main stand. Andy Gorham, who's ever present this season in his 20th game tonight. He's had 10 shutouts so far. McCall fling that one through, Solenko topples, Leonce is the referee. So Takanadi running at the range of defence, it was Gascoigne who made the challenge. Goff was in there as well, it's a free kick to Juventus. This will bring back many memories tonight for Paul Gascoigne after his spell in Italian football. And he'll want to impress this game, of course, going back live to Italy and to so many countries, as I mentioned earlier. So it's played across now to Torricelli, who enjoyed a lot of the ball in the first game a couple of weeks ago. 
on that occasion he played down the left hand side tonight he's operating on the right and another indication just how flexible these Juventus players are here's John Brown that's Bialy nice little back heel flick through there by Sosa looking for Del Piero and uh, Petric slipped but fortunately for Rangers Andy Gorham was in hand and Stephen Wright with a long one forward headed away by Carrera Here's Del Piero. Viale. And just have it back now. It's uh, Stephen Wright. And off by Charlie Miller. Good ball by him to Gascoigne. Well, Gascoigne and Miller played so well together at the weekend. That's ten minutes gone now. There's still no scoring, but here come Rangers through Oleg Salenko. It's knocked away by Carrera. Only as far as Wright. Mike is in there with Pesotto. That's almost given away to Charlie Miller. And Juventus scramble it clear. Well, this is good stuff from Rangers. Harrying their opponents. Forcing mistakes. But they've still to make the breakthrough. It's Ian Ferguson. Goffs there to pick up the loose ball. This is uh, Viali. Played out towards Delivio, but uh, Brown has plenty of time. So is that. And a slack one by him as he tried to pick out Conte. This is Gary Bolin with the throw, looking for Miller. And again, the Juventus defence looking none too clever, but uh, the offside flag is up uh, as Charlie Miller tries to get through. Uh, but Massimo Carrera was under pressure just a few moments ago, forced into a rather panicky pass back to Peruzzi. So the early signs looking good for Rangers and for Charlie Miller, young player who has broken through in the last couple of seasons, really made a huge contribution last year on the way to the championship. This is a man who's taken over from Pagliuca in the Italian national side, uh, Peruzzi. It's headed away by Petric, carefully watched there by Porini. Now it's uh, Stephen Wright. Gascoigne, who's fallen deep. And the ball from him. So it's picked up now by Souza. Through now for Takinardi. He's challenged all the way by Stephen Wright. And it's Gascoigne, even deeper, helping out. Good play by Stephen Wright and Gascoigne lending some help. There was a real threat there from Takinardi. If he'd managed to get that cross in. This is Petric. Good for Solenko. He's quickly closed down by Perini. Perini keeps the run going. The ball breaks to Viale. And he's challenged by McCall and the free kick is given. There's still no scoring, I hear, from the other Group C match in uh, Bucharest between uh, Stoya and uh, Dortmund. And that will have an important uh, bearing this evening as well. So Andy Gorham gets things organised. I think it's a fair bit out, but uh, these players strike the ball so well and so confidently. Nothing can be taken for granted. But, uh, on this occasion, no problem at all. For Andy Gorham. Well, we've seen before the damage Del Piero can, uh, can do from set pieces, but I think he was a little bit uh, optimistic in uh, the range of the shot from, uh, from there, especially the experience that, uh, that Andy Gorham had two weeks ago, and I'm sure that uh, that'll still be fresh in his mind. This is Salenko, battling hard, Charlie Miller. There's Gascoigne, Bowen. It's closed down uh, right away by Torricelli, who takes possession. Conte's there in support. 
a long one from Torricelli and uh, Goff reacts well despite the attentions of Del Piero it's aimed at Charlie Miller but uh, flicks away now to Takenabe switch a play now out to Pisato Del Piero goes down by Goff. Well, Del Piero makes a meal of that. The referee waves play on. And it was just cut out to no more by Sergio Porini. But the signs are that uh, the referee uh, will not uh, react to that kind of nonsense by Del Piero. He's still on the ground. Well, they couldn't have been any closer to the incident. And uh, as you say, I think that'll be working in the favour of uh, Rangers if, if he's not uh, going to be conned into it by the actions like that from the Juventus players. A uh, young player as he is, uh, he can certainly <laughs> fool the referees. We've uh, seen that in recent times. He's a wonderful player nonetheless. Well, there's uh, Perini making a rather strong point. So that's 15 minutes gone here at Ibrook Stadium. It's uh, Rangers nil, Juventus nil. And here come Juve. This is Torricelli. Souza. Delivio. Conte breaks just ahead of him. Viale is in the middle. Del Piero is there as well. He comes off the head of Petric. And Del Piero puts Juventus ahead. A blunder in the Rangers defence. And punished by Alessandro Del Piero. 17 minutes gone here. It's Rangers nil. Juventus won, and just at a time when it looked as though Rangers might get something, the high ball was played in, Petric seemed to be in control of it, it dropped in behind him, and Del Piero stuck it away. Well, actually, when the delivery was made by uh, Delivio there, I think his target was Viali, and uh, Petric has come to meet it with Viali, and he's mistimed it, and the ball has dropped perfectly, and well controlled by Del Piero, and, uh, well, he's executed it, and what a task Rangers have in front of them now. The other side of Del Piero, a moment ago play acting, and they're showing how he can place the ball so effectively in the back of the net. So Rangers with it all to do yet again in this championship. This is Oleg Salenko. But uh, just as in the game, a few weeks ago, it's another self-inflicted wound. This is Souza trying to find the way through. Conte digs in, but so too does Brown. This is Perini. Picanardi. Looking for Del Piero. And that's uh, Bowling at full stretch. As just has been demonstrated there is the fact that when, when mistakes are made at this level, you, you are going to be punished more often than not. And uh, it may have looked a simple uh, goal, but I think the pass, the control, and the way he's placed into the net makes it look simple. And that, that is common. Simplicity is what football is all about. And he's made it look easy. But you've got to remember the atmosphere, the importance of the game, the execution of it really has put uh, Juventus in the driving seat. This is Bolan. And very quickly closed down by Torricelli. Goff now playing the long one through, looking for Charlie Miller, but uh, it's beyond him. Some of the Juventus fans celebrating, there's uh, a thousand of them have travelled here this evening. And uh, they're certainly well used to winning, or well, maybe not in the last few games. Uh, Juventus have slipped up a bit, uh, like Rangers themselves, out of a cup competition early in the season. And they also know what it's like to be on the end of a four-goal hammering. Uh, that should make them feel a lot more comfortable now. Rangers began carrying the game to them right from kickoff, but they've been punished for a defensive mistake. And how ironic that uh, Petric should be involved because Petric, Goff, and Gorham have been uh, rock solid this season. 
I think the fact that uh, Juventus in the, the last couple of weeks have been defeated and defeated badly as they were on, on Sunday, I think would take away any complacency they may have had coming into this game after beating Rangers 4-0. Uh, and really that, that's all bad timing from that point of view for Rangers. And of course they've just come off the Milan defeat before they met Rangers first time around. But, uh, here's Bowen trying to get forward. Uh, the reveal is with him. Well, Bowen makes him. It brings a huge cheer, delivers a cross. And it was Charlie Miller coming in at the far post. And it was Pesotto who headed behind for the corner. Good play by Gary Bowen. Well, you'll remember that uh, little move. Nutmegging Delivio. And uh, delivering a good cross. So forward comes Petric. He scored his first goal for Rangers last Saturday. He could do with another one here to make amends. Gascoigne who took the corner up on Saturday as well. Can they repeat it? Richard Goff attacks the ball, the goalkeeper claws it away. In comes McCall, that was left by Bowen. The offside flag has gone up meanwhile. And the referee has uh, spotted the signal from the linesman on the far side. Well, I find that incredible, Jerry. I mean, Gascoigne's come in, but there, there was one, and I, I think it was uh, Takinadia. No, no, it was Sosa, who's he's just coming off the line there. He's still on the line. No, he's got that one wrong completely. This is Ian Ferguson. Cross for Goff. Charlie Miller again quickly goes down, but he turns well against Torricelli. Still it's Miller. Breaks away to Solanco, the early ball from him. That's away by Perini. Well, claims by the Rangers fans that he handled the ball, but still Juventus have it. So does the Vialli. Now it's Conte. Vialli's kept the run going. Goff's in there, though. Now it's Ferguson. Gascoigne. Ferguson again. Salenko starts a run. It's played short to Bolin. So his header is misplaced, and it's picked up by Torricelli. So is that. Takinardi. This is Pesotto. Porini. Carrera. It's Torricelli again. One win for Del Piero to chase. Golf goes with him. It's behind for the goal kick. I think that night in Turin two weeks ago, I think there was many lessons that uh, not only Rangers, but a lot of people in Scotland uh, must have learned. And I think one of the most important things, and it's got to be uh, considered very deeply tonight, is that Rangers can't afford to give the ball away. I mean, they have possession of the ball, they've got to make use of it. But Charlie Miller there done a magic piece of work there, and got away from his marker, and the ball went out. I think it went to Selenko. When you get in a position like that, you've got to make the most of it. You can't give it away. So we're now midway through the first half here at uh, Ibrook Stadium. It's Rangers nil, Juventus one, Del Piero after 17 minutes. The, uh, Rangers have uh, other problems. Stephen White has taken a knock out there on the far side of the field. Ian Durant, who's a seasoned performer at this level, Ali McCoyst, is there also needed. There's uh, Vialli, who missed the first game, 12.5 million he cost from Sampdoria in 1992. At that time, a world record. And here, there's still no scoring uh, in the other match between Steyer and uh, Dutton.